they left me on ice for 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized the contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit it. When I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment, of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were using. Would the Commonwealth corrupt me? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Sean, you need to know. I see Aww. You. I can see that you do. Father and son reunited. <laughs> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be re -purposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. There's always a risk. It was worth it. I'm glad you see it that way. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The directory is me, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. All right, so a new quest. Yay! Attend. Uh, decorate meeting. I don't know if there's anything else. Not bad. So. Back inside the institute, I take it. I'll be right back, guys. Food's here. Oh. Well, he drive you, David?
We're about to beat Fallout 4. Maybe. I'm hoping we're gonna beat Fallout 4. <sighs> Where is he? What? Okay. Do we go the right way? Yeah, we did. Okay. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir. Excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the continent. Intelligence suggests that this railroad Hang on, I'm... is becoming more... Shut up! SRB Damn! ...are monitoring all known situations. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? What's phase three? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. In this world, I'm sure compromise is necessary. Quite right. For far too long, we've been dependent on others. On our surroundings, that time is over. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Sounds like an important step. That's... well... That's an understanding. The reactor is closely ready. But recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three. And to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. A. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Yeah? Well... He is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Y yes, but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdry, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volker's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, hey, serious. everyone, please, I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you, but we're running out of time. There must be something we can do to help you. The only thing that matters now is continuing the Institute's work. It will be all right. I feel we can talk more 
later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Aw, shit! I am gonna be the fucking leader of all you bitches. <laughs> oh my god. So who dies first? No. <laughs> <gasps> oh man, too good. Speak with father. Oh, we were just in there with him, weren't we? Yeah. Dude, look at my digs, though, yo. It's all mine. It's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking. Wait, what's he say? I'm... I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate a and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Phil Morton fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Sweet. All right, speak with Lane Fillmore. Let's do it. Sec, guys. Let me turn it up real quick. All the dishes running. There we go. All right. I think we're setting off a nuke here for the institute. Could be wrong. Not sure yet, but we'll find out. How many nukes do we have left? Something I did not check. We have five. So we have to. Save to get more. Oh. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busy. You're going to 